Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemedia.org. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, uh, I actually won a bait raffle. They were from my friend, but that's not the point. I won a bait raffle. <laughs> Let's check them out. All right, so it's not every day that I actually win a raffle, so uh, it's still kind of an exciting thing when it happens. Uh, even though uh, this sneaker was not for me, um, this particular pair of shoes that I'm reviewing tonight is the Adidas Yeezy 500 in the blush colorway, and these were purchased from a for and these were purchased for a friend of mine. As the uh, the uh, Adidas Yeezy 500 just really isn't my thing. And my battery is about to die on my overhead camera, so let's go ahead and get this out quick. Out, out. All right. Outer box away. All right, uh, standard uh, Yeezy box. 500 on the lid. Yeezy 500 on the side. There's your size. Size 10. No on foot, obviously, not my size but I will get plenty of close-ups. Gentle, gentle. There they are, my goodness. It's a pretty cool looking color, gotta say. May not be a fan of this silhouette, but I still do like me a, a brown shoe. Ah, it just hit the mic. All right, let's get the box out of the way here. Get my overhead camera powered off before the battery dies. I hate when that happens mid-video, but anyways. Uh, here they are in all their glory. The Yeezy, the uh, Yeezy 500 in the blush colorway. This is a, a restock. Uh, as I mentioned at the start of the video, these were purchased for my friend, and I got them through a bait raffle, which I believe it's only the second time that's ever happened to me. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a rare thing, so I, I celebrate it when it happens. But anyway, back to the sneaker. Um, this uh, particular style really, uh, I don't know, it really doesn't speak to me. Um, even having it in hand, like this is the first 500 that I've actually had in my hand. And I really like this colorway and the materials that they use are really nice. The suede on here is super soft, super thick. Uh, really nice looking uh, cut of suede. But I don't know what it is, it's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. But these feature the Adiprene, Adiprene? ADI Preen, Adipreen uh, material for the sole. So uh, I'm not sure how comfortable these are on feet. I mean, people like them. I'm sure they're comfortable enough. Um, but I'm not familiar with that material myself. I don't have any shoes with that with that uh, material in the sole. So I'm I'm not sure how comfortable they are. But if you own a pair of these or a pair of sneakers that uses that same technology, uh, please comment down below uh, how you feel 
or how you think they feel on foot. You know, are they comfortable? How do they compare to Boost? Uh, Boost is kind of a hard act to follow. Uh, it's really super comfortable material. So you got partial suede and, and mesh material, some leather in here too on the upper. On the tongue, you've got more of that mesh and some leather mixed in. On the insole, you got Yeezy Ortholite. Oh wow, they're Ortholite? Huh, that's cool. So on the insole, you got the Yeezy Ortholite. I'll get close-ups of these. Um, the Ortholite logo. Uh, again, the, uh, the outsole uh, features that Adidaprene, Adiprene, Adiprene, Adiprene. Am I saying that correctly? I'm not sure. And uh, kind of a funky design on the outsole. Um, I'm not sure what this means on the on the heel. It says non-marketing. Not sure what that's all about. You got the Adidas logo here on the inside. And that's pretty much it. Uh, no, another Adidas logo on the front there. But I mean. That is pretty much it. It's a pretty, uh, it's pretty clean. Not a whole lot going on. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not my thing. Doesn't mean doesn't mean it's ugly. I just it doesn't speak to me. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get some close-ups and some B-roll. Okay, so uh, overall, I mean, my feelings towards the 500s haven't really changed, having um, this being my first time having one in hand. Uh, my feelings towards them haven't really changed. I mean, it's not a bad looking sneaker, especially in this colorway. This colorway is pretty good. Um, it's pretty clean. It's just, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, so retail for this guy was 210, uh, but with taxes and shipping, uh, bait, Man, that shipping fee is nonsense. Um, ooh, almost dropped it, ooh, sorry. With uh, taxes and shipping, it was $240. God. Um, bait charges quite a bit for shipping. I wish uh, I wish there was a store pickup option for these. I would have chose that and uh, saved my friend a little bit of money. Uh, currently on resale, uh, on StockX currently, the last sale was $323, so they're reselling for quite a bit, but oh, for some reason, the current listing is 239. That's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. So they they've dropped in, they've dropped in price quite a bit. The last sale being uh, $323, but the current list is 239. So yeah, they've dropped quite a bit. So. If you got these on bait or any other website that charges shipping and you were trying to resell these, you're probably gonna take a loss at this time. Uh, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I don't know why the, the price dropped. Maybe because they're a restock? Maybe that's why uh, the price has gone down. But yeah, on StockX right now, $239. So uh, not a bad penalty if you were not able to grab them for retail on release day. 
you can uh, head on over. This is for a size 10, by the way. You can uh, head on over to StockX and grab. Eh. You can head on over to StockX and grab them for 239. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.